Hey folks, welcome back to Straight Talk Whiskey for episode number 26, and happy Independence Day. That's right, it's 4th of July, um, here in the U.S., for those who are celebrating that, out doing their cookouts, barbecue, you're probably, uh, probably enjoying some good bourbon, um, as you should, and so that's why, um, we are doing a Kentucky Straight Bourbon, uh, today will be Buffalo Trace. Um, so this kind of has a, a pretty rich history um, running alongside, you know, America's history um, in the old pioneer days. Um, this, you know, Buffalo Trace um, claims, at least, that they're the oldest continually operating distillery um, in the country. Now, of course, it's gone through um, different names and, and such. And, um, and the parent company of Buffalo Trace is actually um, Sazerac. Uh, company, but um, but nonetheless, um, I believe this um, the Buffalo Trace um, bourbon came around in the early '90s. Um, you know, obviously under the the namesake um, of the company there. But this has um, some ties, um, you know, back to um, Kentucky, near the Kentucky River. Um, they're in the Frankfurt area now, um, but it's said to be on an old uh, ancient. Uh, Buffalo Crossing, so that's kind of where you get the name there. Um, so let's go through go through the whiskey, see what we got in the bottle. Now, just remember, um, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Um, how is that different than regular bourbon? Well, um, you still have got the main requirements it takes to become a bourbon. Um, you know, 51% corn must be aged in new um, American oak barrels, um, but this is aged in um, in oak barrels, obviously, uh, for a minimum of two years. Um, so we definitely have that little bit of information. I'm not sure exactly how long it is. Could be a lot longer than that. Doesn't matter um, because it's at least two years. Um, and and this is nice actually. And I and I respect them for doing this. It's um it's bottled at uh, 90 proof, so 45% ABV, which you know is is great. Um, because not that always the higher alcohol content is attributed to um, better tastes or something like that. What it means is that there's more of the um, kind of the esters and, and the alcohols in there that give us um, the opportunity for those tastes to come out when we're drinking it. Um, and of course, adding a drop of water or something like that can always help uh, bring the, that little bite, the nip there, the alcohol down, and make a more palatable um, drink for you to enjoy. Um, as you see, I don't have have the water with me today. Um, I've never actually had this, so I'm just going to go um, straight into it, um, not put water with it. If, once I, you know, get get into drinking this, I might add some water, see what kind of changes it up, and that sort of thing. But um, you got a nice uh, cork top there. Like I said, it kind of this comes off as something that's more. Um, craft oriented, if you will, rather than um, something that's overly um, marketed, overly manufactured, like um, Jack Daniels and stuff like that. You know, not to knock those um, Jack Daniels at all um, with their entry level. You know, it's just got um, a big following, obviously, throughout the world. It's got the branding, the marketing, but, you know, it's bottled at 40% ABV, you know. There's not much to say. This is 10 proof higher than that, and I think that's a lot better, um, in my opinion, and most people will agree. Um, what else do we have in the bottom to tell you about? They've got a nice little uh, story in the back. I won't go through reading that. You can find it um, for yourself. Uh, for the price, getting something like this is actually um, pretty nice. Um, I think it came in a little under uh, $30 um, for this. Um, at just a local store, so I'm not sure what it is around you, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's relatively reasonable. So, uh, color. We've got a nice uh, nice golden amber, kind of like a, um, uh, a deep straw, if you will. Um, let's go in. Uh, we'll do a little roll around. Um, like I said before, if you kind of hold, uh, hold it on the side a little bit, it helps when you have like a, a glass like this. Um, like a Glencairn or um, a Brandy Snifter or even like a Capita uh, wine glass or something like that. You can kind of see, um, and you won't be able to see on this camera, but you got the uh, 
the legs, if you just hold it there for a little bit, it's like wine, people who uh, review wine, you can see this as well, um, you get a little more indication of the age when you look at um, kind of what's going on on the sides. Um, and if it kind of slowly drizzles down, you know you're getting something that's been aged a little bit more. If it kind of just floats really fast down to the glass, back end of the glass, you've got something that's newer. Um, so you can experiment, get something that's really young, um, like uh, like Jack Daniel's Green Label maybe, um, or something like that, something that's unaged, and then get something a little bit older. And you can see for yourself kind of the um, the legs of this, just just interesting in and of itself. So let's go in for the nose. Now right off the bat, I'm getting something that's um, like marshmallowy, um, campfire wood. Strong sense of vanilla, a little hint of cinnamon in there. Not as strong um, alcohol in it, which you might think with a 45% uh, percent ABV, there's no strong like kick that's blowing you back. You know, it's really, um, there's a lot of substance in there. Definitely stands on its own two legs. It's got a little hint of a uh, uh, dried fruits in there, um, coming in on the end of that nose. There is a somewhat um, once you get into a, a neutral uh, quality to it, almost like a, a balancing out of flavors, kind of um, things that are uh, you know complementing each other, uh, working in tandem there. Not an overly uh, strong sense of, of wood influence there um, that you get with some other things. Um, single barrel Jack Daniels, um, Maker's Mark, that sort of thing. Which, those kind of things, I get a little bit more wood um, aromas in there. Well, let's go in for the taste. You know, it's nice and smooth, um, initially, um, sort of a sweetness like, um, like some, uh, like grilled corn on the cob, um, something like that. It's got a nice, um, nice little char in it, but it's still got a sweet center to it. Um, the mouthfeel is nice, um, it just kind of rolls off the tongue. In the back though, they're definitely, um, what we didn't get in the aroma, like I said, um, was the alcohol content, but you do get sort of the kick, um, on the back of the palate. Uh, once that goes down, but, you know, very smooth, uh, very full body, you know, definitely, you know, thumbs up for having that ABV up there, um, which kind of is just, uh, you know, solidifying its legs in the ground, you know, standing on its own two feet there. Definitely sweet. Um, and what I do, if you take, you know, big... Um, gulp of it, you're going to get overwhelmed with the alcohol content there. You only need to take a little sip if you want to get into all these little flavors because what you get is kind of this, it's really sweet. Um, you can definitely savor it for a long time. The finish, it's long lasting, it's full bodied, it's not fleeting, it's not quick, it's not crisp. Um, it's nice, there's some meat to it, some substance, um, and I think that's wonderful. Bourbon, especially if this. Um, um, price point, like I said, you know, more bang for your buck. Yeah, really nice. Now I'll be I'll be interested to um, to do some more reviews on uh, the Buffalo Trace whiskeys that they have, different products that they've got going on there because it's really substantial. And it's nice in the summer, you know, it, it definitely reminds you, um, you know, like a good uh, barbecue, like most of you are probably doing right now, um, with friends and family, um, just kind of enjoying it, taking it all in. And um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't have the, uh, the scoreboard, but I think we will give this a 89 out of 100. Um, I think that's a fair assessment. Um, sorry it wasn't uh, around last week. Um, with a review, you know, things get hectic, uh, life happens, work, that sort of thing. Um, but what I am going to do is start a uh, little mini segment on aging your own whiskey at home. And so that will be another review that's coming out 
um, at the beginning of this week. Um, we'll take you through the process of what you know, what it takes, what you can do, um, the different ideas you have for you know even finishing the barrel before you age um, your spear in it. Um, so so look out for that. It'll be a step by step kind of thing. Um, I'm going to do it alongside of the reviews, you know, so you can kind of follow that process and where it goes. Um, and I'll do occasional taste, probably monthly, um, just to check in and see where it is. But, um, yeah, for Review 26, Straight Talk Whiskey, I'm Nick. And uh, enjoy your 4th of July if you're celebrating it. Um, if you're not, have a great rest of the weekend and uh, drink responsibly. See you next time.